What's up guys, it's Glummit here and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to consistently beat Jabba with Trench. Now note guys, this is in Squad Arena so it doesn't have Chrysanthemum's Omicron in play, it also doesn't have the Territory War Omicron's in play. Firstly I'd like to point out that the Chrysanthemum Omicron wouldn't make too much of a difference here. In Territory War you would need Trench's Omicron's to make this work. Now the first battle is a loss, it's just to show you guys don't run this against Boba. If Boba is in the enemy team, you're not going to have fun because he's going to 1. Ability block you and 2. He's going to just annihilate someone. And if this happens, it's an instant loss. However, if you are going up against the more traditional lineups with Embo in there, you are going to have a very, very good time. So all mods and relic levels will be in the description, guys, and you can go check them out there. It is very specific modding and it may be why you have been failing this counter in the past. Now in terms of the general strategy here guys, you are going to be applying the shield tech, the bank to shield, to Django Fett. What this is going to do is when Dooku stealths, he's going to basically force Django to taunt. Now by having Dooku quick enough, this means Django is going to take all of the damage in the opening. The next thing is Trench is going to be taking a lot of bonus turns, so you're going to be constantly taking turns of him applying the shock, which is crucial guys, because you want Chrysanthemum to be shocked, so he won't regain that taunt. Now there's two ways to remove the taunt here guys, you're going to either AoE, or sorry, Dispel with the uh, assist on Trench again, when he circles enough turns, or you're going to use the second special on Newt, and what this will do is, is one, going to push back cooldowns, and two, is going to dispel buffs. But first, you have to make sure you're set up with everyone uh, shocked, so it doesn't come back. So as you can see here, guys, the most important thing is you're going to be burning with Django. Under Trench Lead, when any enemy is burned, they cannot counter, and they cannot assist. This basically shuts down Jabba. He will not get ultimate. Now obviously sometimes there's rare instances where he will, and if he does get ultimate he's going to kill someone and you're not going to get any revives, which is kind of what trench teams are about. But if you can avoid this, you're in a really good spot. So obviously you're going to open up trench, he's going to take loads of turns, you're going to use the extortion on Newt, which is going to give everyone a 10% speed increase. Note it's 10% and not just 10 speed. It really stacks up quick. You're then going to have Dooku stealth everyone, so Django is doing his thing. The weapon tech goes on Newt. This is going to allow Newt to take more turns because more extortion, more speed. Then you're going to be giving the shield tech to Django and you're going to be giving the med pack tech to Dooku. You can also give the med pack tech to Trench, it honestly doesn't matter. Also, guys, once you start killing people off, feel free if a Newt dies to put the weapon tech on Dooku because whoever kills Chrysanthemum is going to be preventing that revive. That could be Dooku, that could be Django, that could be Trench. Just you make that decision throughout the battle. Once Leia's gone, there's not really a necessity on who has the weapon tech, because by this point, you're kind of going to be turning me to rolling them. Now guys, if you're wondering where this can go wrong, because there is a chance with any counter that it can go wrong, it's going to be if A, what Tambor dies in the opening, or B, Dooku dies in the opening. If Dooku dies, you unfortunately have to mix it up and you have to do the uh, revive instead to get him back. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. If what time ball dies in the opening, you may kill off the sides, but you're not going to win full turn. But honestly, guys, this has been very consistent for me. I've been doing it pretty easily. Like I said, there's a little bit of mod investment down in the comments and description. But other than that, it's really not too bad, guys. It's a great counter. Go out there and use it, and this will only be easier in TW when you have trenches on Macrons. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. My name is Glummit, and as always, guys, have a glumming day.